Zwom Bemo. Hey everyone and welcome to another Bemo Creative Crypto video. So this one is about Krampus. Just in time for Christmas, right? So Krampus in Central European popular legend has a mangled, deranged face with bloodshot eyes atop a furry black body with giant horns curled up on his head. Half goat, half human creature that punishes misbehaving children at Christmas time. Recently, he is depicted as the monstrous companion of Saint Nicholas, believe it or not. Krampus is believed to have originated in Germany, and his name derives from the German word Krampen, which means claw. So, through research, I found that Krampus was part of pagan druid rituals right before the winter solstice. According to legends, there was not just one, but a tribe of them, believed to be the sons and daughters of Hela, the Norse god of the underworld, and the youngest daughter of Loki. These beings would come down from the tunnels in the mountains, they said, and attack villages, breaking doors and setting fires and just wreaking havoc until the people came up with a truce offering people as sacrifices to Krampus. So of course they chose deformed children and criminals first, criminal adults, and then went to just bad people or people they didn't like, then you were chosen, and then they went to casting lots every year. The Krampus would take the bad people and it was said that they ate them, but that was never actually witnessed, uh, leaving the villages until the next solstice. And I drew a female here because of what I could find. The Krampus would take the sacrifice was almost always a female one guarded by two male ones. Um, with the spread of Catholic Christianity, Krampus became associated with Christmas despite efforts by the Catholic Church to accept all pagans and Druids into their faith but deny them all of the stuff that Druids and pagans do except for especially I mean Krampus sacrifices. The creature and Saint Nicholas are said to arrive on the evening of December 5th Krampusnacht which is Krampus night while Saint Nicholas rewards nice children by leaving presents Krampus beats those who are naughty with branches and sticks. Yikes. On December 6th, St. Nicholas Day, the children that got gifts on the 5th could open their gifts. The children that were beaten on the 5th would wake up and just tend to their injuries, I guess. Craziness. So, there are many myths and legends of goat-like humanoids and all kinds of strange creatures, from Pan to fawns and many others, to include even one called Goatman here in the U.S., uh, Krampus is a counterpart to other Christmas devils such as Franz's Hans Trapp, which is um, kind of a creepy scarecrow cannibal, and the Netherlands Zwart Piet, or Black Peter. If you haven't heard of these, maybe I'll do videos on these as well. They're all creepy, I'm telling you. Uh, these pagan traditions involve people, mostly young men, dressing up and... Um, with a focus to scare away these creatures that were usually come down from mountains, mountain spirits that like to come down and wreak havoc. Sounds very familiar, right? Wearing fur suits and carved masks, they paraded through the villages yelling, ringing bells, and generally making a racket. Uh, of course, the Druids tried this stuff too, and it didn't work until they started sacrificing. So this all sounds very familiar. The custom was oftentimes carried out on the longest night of the year, the winter solstice. Sounds very familiar to the stuff that the Druids and Pagans did for Krampus. By the 12th century, the Catholic Church began its work to stamp out the pagan devil. Uh, Chris Christians were fairly successful at banishing the Krampus until they re-emerged in the 19th century, fit for consumerism manufacturers started to commercialize Krampus after 1890 from what I could find when the Austrian government relinquished control over the nation's postcard production causing the industry to flourish there were crazy Krampuses for children and silly ones for adults uh, this coincided with a revival of Krampus festivals as well the early 20th century Krampus Slav, which is Krampus run 
the, were outlawed by the conservative and nationalist parties of Germany and Austria in the 1930s. But beginning in the late 20th century, amid efforts to preserve uh, cultural heritage, they said, Krampus runs became increasingly popular again in Austria and Germany. During this time, Krampus began to be celebrated internationally, and the monster's growing appeal was evidenced by numerous horror films here in the U.S. as well. Some claimed that the expanding popularity of Krampus was a reaction to the commercialization of Christmas. Maybe. I don't think so, but maybe. Uh, today, festivities involving Krampus include the Krampusschlaf, which is a Krampus run, and the Krampus Night, so they celebrate Krampus Night as well. These Krampus traditions are popular in countries such as Germany, Austria, Hungary, Slovenia, and the Czech Republic. In these events, which often involve alcohol, of course, people dress up as these creatures and parade through the streets and break stuff and scare people and chase people. I don't understand why anyone would go to this, but people do this. They, they do it. So my thought when I heard about all of this and I read all of this stuff, my first thought was that the Druids spent all that time trying their best to stop their towns from being attacked by Krampuses. And then here we are as people in the 20th century dressing up as them and going and wrecking our own towns for fun as a parade of some kind. So my second thought is if they are real, this is the perfect time to come down into the village and take people because you could dress up like one of these people and they look like you and then you could just walk around and pick the ones you want and take them so i started looking for missing person reports around this time of year in these countries and they don't report everything like we do in the u.s uh, they report what they want to report and that's that so it's really hard to tell if there's more missing people in these countries around this time of year but i i wouldn't be surprised so what do you think of krampus and his ilk leave a comment below anyways that is going to do it for this one please leave a like and subscribe to be more creative for more crypto videos thanks so much bye